a very warm welcome to all my little friends old as well as new on our channel curiosity hive i hope you've subscribed to this channel if not quickly click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon next to it so that you can get notifications of our new videos well in today's session we are going to look at the concepts for maths for grade 2 which are very popular questions in your school as well as competitive exams. We'll brush up the concepts, understand the questions asked and then we'll throw at you some tricky questions to be solved all by yourself. So let's get started with this. So today we'll look at the time problems for class 2 and the topics that we'll cover under it are minute and hour hand, reading time, AM, PM and also calculating time. So let's get started with our first topic that is minute and hour hand where in a clock there is a minute hand which is a longer hand and there's a shorter hand which is called the hour hand. Well there is a third hand which is not always there in all clocks which is the second hand which is the longest of the three. Now between any two numbers in a clock there are five intervals. So if we need to find out the complete rotation around the clock it will be 12 times 5 that is 60 intervals. Hence the second hand when it completes one rotation it completes 60 seconds. And when it completes 60 seconds the minute hand moves to one interval hence 60 seconds is equal to one minute. And when the minute hand completes one revolution, it clocks in 60 minutes. And this 60 minutes is what makes the hour hand move to the next number. Hence, 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. And how about the hours? Now, the hour hand takes one revolution in 12 hours. So, this conversion we should keep in mind for our future solving. Let's see about reading time now. Now here first we look at when minute hand points to 12. So when minute hand points to 12 and the hour hand points to any number then the time is that number. In this case it is 1 o'clock. Similarly if it points to 4 it is 4 o'clock. If it points to 10 it is 10 o'clock. Now the second part to this is when the minute hand does not point to 12. So we need to revise our interval logic which has 5 intervals between 2 numbers and hence each number which is a multiple of 5 will give us the minutes when the minute hand lands here. For example, if the minute hand is pointing to 2, it is 10 minutes and the hour is where the hour hand is pointing that is 9 in this case. Similarly, as the minute hand moves to the next increasing number, say 5, then the hour hand will move little bit between 9 and 10. Hence, the time now would be 25 minutes and 9 hours. Now, if the minute hand moves further inside the clock to say 8, the hour hand will further proceed towards 10 and the time will be 40 minutes and 9 hours. Finally, when the hour hand reaches exactly 10, the minute hand will point to 12 and it will be 10 hour. Hence, as the minute hand starts pointing to the increasing number of the minutes, well, the hour hand will move between 9 and 10. So, this is how we read the time. Now, let's quickly revise the AM and PM which means anti-meridian and post-meridian in Latin which means before and after noon. So, let's see how they fit in. So, a day has 24 hours and the first 12 hours from midnight till noon fall into the AM category and the next 12 hours from noon till midnight fall in the PM category. And further, to calculate the PM times, we just subtract 12 from the hour to get the exact time. Now comes our main topic calculating time. Well, here mostly we'll have problem questions asking us to add or subtract time. Whenever you do this, there are three pointers that I need to bring to your notice. First one is always add minutes to minutes and hours to hours. Second pointer is whenever the sum of minutes exceeds 60, add one hour to the hours time and then subtract the sum of minutes from 60 to find the actual minutes of the hour. One more important thing is always convert the time in the same unit before adding or subtracting. Now let's look at some of the questions that are asked in this subject. The time on the clock is 12.30. Then the hour hand is on 
choose your answers from option A to D. So try it with me. When we look at a clock, let's try to plot 12:30. So 12:30 means the minute hand points at 6 and the hour hand will be somewhere between 12 and 1. Hence our right answer is option B between 12 and 1. Next question. If the arrows represent the hands of the clock, then guess the time. Choose the answers from the given options. Try it with me. So when you plot a circle with this intersection point as the center of the circle and then plot the four main quadrant point you'll notice that three faces just opposite the hour hand and then the other numbers follow to complete the clock and the right answer is either 3 am or 3 pm which is option D either B or C Next question The office time of Paula is from 9 am to 5 pm There is a lunch break for 1 hour. The total working time of Paula is and you need to choose from these options. Let's solve this together. Now Paula works 9 a.m. in the morning to 5 p.m. in the evening. So what is 5 p.m. in p.m. hours? Well, it is 5 hours afternoon. That is 12 plus 5 that is we are adding 5 after the noon time which is equal to 17 hours which is the time in pm now all we need to do is find the difference of 17 and 9 that is equal to 8 hours and further we have one more hour to be subtracted for lunch break so minus 1 hour which gives me 7 hours So her total work time is option A 7 hours. Next question is identify the correct time for 2230. The options given are A B C D. Let's choose this together. So 2230 is a time after 12. Hence we know that it is a post meridian or an evening time. So to find the exact time all we need to do is subtract 12 from it. So 30 minus 0 is 30. 2 minus 2 is 10, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So it is 10 30 p.m., which is 10 30 hours afternoon or 10 30 in the evening. Next question: Time taken to feed different animals is shown below, which is 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and 10 minutes. What is the total time taken to feed all animals one after the other and these are the options given So first rule of calculation is to have them in the same unit so we have all of them in the same unit that is minute so we can just add 20 plus 30 plus 15 plus 10 without any conversion So this will be equal to 5 in ones place and 7 in tens place so 75 minutes. Now to convert 75 minutes into hours we need to break it with 60 and the remaining minutes. So 75 is 60 minutes plus 15 minutes and the 60 minutes is 1 hour and 15 minutes is 15 minutes hence our time is 1 hour and 15 minutes. Next question. In ancient times our glass were used to measure the time. Well our glass is also known as sand clock because it had sand in its bulbs. Now, if it takes 30 minutes for sand to empty from top to bottom chamber, then calculate the time elapsed if our glass is turned 5 times. So these are the options given. Come let's solve it together. Here we are using time with our arithmetic operation. Now for the sand to empty from top to bottom it took 30 minutes and this was repeated 5 times. So all you need to do is simply multiply 30 by 5 which is equal to 150 minutes. Now what we need to do yes same rule break it into 60 and the remaining So 150 minus 60 is 90. Well, we can further break this 90 because this is greater than 60. So this will be 60 and 30. So hence we have 260, which is 2 hours and 30 minutes. So we need to break it till we get the minute less than 60. Hence this is our time, 
which is option B. I hope you are understanding the concept. Now let's go to a little tougher one. Now it's all about reading your question carefully. So let's read. Martha has a clock whose hour hand had broken down. Her school finishes off at three o'clock in afternoon. It takes her thirty minutes to reach home. One day she went to have an ice cream on her way, and got late by ten minutes. Which of the following could be the time when Martha reached home? And in the answers given, they have only showed the minute hand. So let's find what the time is, and then we can locate where the minute hand is pointing. Now the first clue tells us that her school finishes at three o'clock. So three is the time I'll write here. It takes her thirty minutes to reach home. So at this point, let's add thirty to the time. Which will give us three hours thirty now, and then one day she got late by ten minutes. So further ten minutes to the time, which is three hours forty minutes. Hence we know that the minutes are pointing to forty, which would be eight because five times eight is forty. So that's how we solve this question. Now that we have done enough practice, let's head to our quiz time where you will be thrown five questions. Solve these questions. Pause the video if you need more time to solve these questions, and then check against the answer key in the end. So here you go. Well, that's the end of the questions, and now it's time to check your answers. I hope you enjoyed this session. We'll look out for our next video for another concept that we'll brush up, and we'll also try to solve questions related to that. So till we meet again, take care.